Meanwhile, there are media reports that the Independent National Electoral Commission may have a different view on the election of a candidate by the all-progressive Grand Alliance for the governorship election coming up in Anambra State in November. To clarify what the situation is, we have joining us on the News National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, INEC, Festus Okoye. Uh, he's, uh, Festus Okoye, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Um, but first, uh, let's understand a little bit more about the online voter registration. What part of this process has been moved online and what impact is it expected to have? Well, uh, uh, part of the uh, what we have done is to um, decongest the registration centers uh, when the actual physical registration starts. Uh, secondly, we want to give uh, young Nigerians uh, and the older generation who are internet savvy an opportunity of starting their registration online and completing their biometrics and facials at the various registration centers. Uh, so what we have done is, is just to it's, it's just a duality to satisfy the provisions of the law and also to make sure uh, that we conform to international standards uh, where the voters register is in a digital form and uh, where the voters register uh, is just updated uh, once in a while uh, rather than having a wholesale, um, uh, a wholesale um, uh, activate, activation of the voters register every, every time there's an election. Uh, so what we have done is just to create a duality have an online portal and also uh, make provision uh, for fiscal registration for those who are not um, uh, internet savvy or who do not have smartphones and who do not have computers. We hope that this process makes it easier and even more accessible for intending voters. L let's turn to uh, Anambra very quickly. There are reports from there that APGA may be ruled out of the November election uh, for not complying with um, a section of the Electoral Act that required that they carry your commission along uh, before organizing the ad hoc Congress uh, where they elected um, the delegates for the party's primary. What's INEC's position on this matter? Uh, the, the, the commission has not ruled out any political party uh, from submitting the list of its uh, nominated candidates. Uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission is a regulatory body, and we regulate the activities of political parties. And we have the right to draw the attention of any political party uh, to any provision of the law or to any provision of its guidelines that it has not complied with. No the uh, uh, APGA gave the Independent National Electoral Commission notice of in its intention uh, to organize uh, primaries for the purposes of uh, nominating its candidates. And the commission monitored that particular primary election uh, uh, where notice was given. But in terms of the election of its delegates, notice was not given to the commission. But the truth of the matter is that we do not have any challenge with the leadership of uh, APGA uh, so on, uh, on the second day of July uh, 2021, the chair, national chairman will be given the access code uh, for, for, for the party to upload the uh, personal particulars and um, name of his nominated candidate into INEC dedicated portal. Uh, the, the, the challenge here is that any, if any member of the party or if any aspirant to any member of any political party uh, feels concerned or aggrieved about uh, whatever happened during the uh, primaries of the of the of that particular political party, he reserves the right under Section 285 of the Constitution and also under the relevant provisions of Section 87 of the Electoral Act uh, to activate the process of the course. So we have not ruled out any political party uh, from participating in the governorship election. National Commissioner, Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee, Ayanek Festus Okoye, thank you for talking to us tonight. Thank you so much.